Hi, today I want to talk about uh, one very interesting add-on in uh, Jira called uh, Structure. And uh, I want to talk about why this add-on can be beneficial in case you want to solve a specific problem in Jira. So Jira is a great tool. We all love working on Jira and uh, we can do a lot of things uh, uh, with Jira very easily. But of course, uh, you need to use a few add-ons to improve or maybe to bring in some more functionality. And one specific problem that we have in Jira is the visualiz visualization of a different type of linked issues with each other. In Jira, we have the concept of linking. In Jira, we also have the concept of a subtask. And especially if you're working on a big project where you have various uh, issues linked to each other. For example, you have a requirement, then you have, uh, let us say, the list of stories and subtasks, and you have linked bugs. Uh, it is sometimes a bit difficult to visualize everything in one go. And uh, the purpose uh, for this visualization is to track what is happening at uh, different levels. Uh, maybe you want to track the progress of uh, all the epics or maybe you want to track the progress of all the initiatives. So to solve this specific problem, of course, uh, you do have uh, some capabilities uh, inbuilt. Of course, if, if you're using Jira software, you can track the progress of uh, epics, for example, but uh, sometimes you need the ability to, to have a big picture. So today I want to talk about this add-on called Structure. It is nothing but uh, a project and uh, portfolio management uh, tool. By the way, I've, I've made some notes uh, and I'm trying to give you the clear picture and I want to give you this uh, very uh, concise information about what this structure add-on can do for you. So uh, just, to, just to summarize what this add-on can do, it can help you with uh, building the hierarchy of uh, all your issues and those issues can be linked to each other and uh, with the help of this add-on, you can... Uh, also create a board of uh, specific type of issues that are linked to each other. You can uh, create uh, different levels and uh, you can do zoom in and zoom out. For example, if you want to track all the initiatives, uh, maybe you can just uh, create a board with uh, all the initiatives, but you will have the possibility to further drill into those initiatives. Then you can go to specific epics. Then you can also probably go to the issues or stories under that epic. So you can zoom in and zoom out. And the good thing about the structure is that uh, you can aggregate the progress. You can aggregate the effort at each level. For example, if you update the progress of your issues or subtasks, for example, the progress will also be reflected or aggregated at one level above. So this is a great way to, to, of course, track the progress in just one go, in just one view. Also, uh, if you want to, for example, uh, visualize complex relationships between different type of issues, for example, let us say in, in case you are doing a test management using Jira, you can definitely build some kind of end-to-end -end traceability using, uh, using structure. So yeah, so you can also update the sprints by adding more issues to it. You can also assign issues to your team members when you're working on, uh, let us say, your sprints. And you can also do drag and drop. So so structure is uh, is is a definitely is definitely a great add-on in case uh, you have this requirement of uh, visualization, creating hierarchies, and also if you're working on different levels or maybe if you want to use Jira for safe, scaled, agile framework, then a structure can be useful. Of course, uh, it is just uh, a matter of uh, creating uh, the board or the way you want to organize uh, your issues in Jira. And I'm creating this video to, to also let you know that I will be also creating more uh, videos or tutorials on how to use the structure. Uh, along with, of course, uh, this specific video. So I will be creating a series of uh, videos on a structure where I will give you some examples on uh, how to set up a structure board, how to create hierarchies, and how to also create hierarchies based on your requirements for your team. So you can also create a structure board and share it within your uh, team of uh, users. So I hope you enjoyed and you liked this video. Thank you very much.